Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mayur Agrawal, DM Endocrinology from Bhopal, Faculty for Marrow, Super Specialty Endocrinology. Welcome to this session. Today we have a very important guest, a star performer of the year, celebrity of the year, I would say, because many of us just dreamt of it. We just dream that we may secure sometimes rank one. Today we have with us rank one for INI SS 2024, Dr. Sara. I welcome you and a big, big, big congrats for this grand success because you have cracked the toughest exam in the country and probably the most wanted branch, I would say. So let's start with a very, I would say, customary and a stupid question. I know you would be feeling great, wonderful, but how you are feeling? Sir, I'm feeling absolutely good, sir. I cannot explain. This has come as a huge surprise to me, sir. Okay, so you have not expected this rank because you were topper in PG as well, as I know. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, sir, I so... actually was expecting like second or third rank but not first rank and that with so much of margins that was completely unexpected okay so that's so nice of you for those who don't know you just tell us about you where have you done your mbbs md all those things yes sir sir uh, i belong to patiala district in punjab and i have done mbbs from aims rishikesh batch of 2013 and I've done post-graduation in internal medicine from PGA Chandigarh and I completed it in June 2022. Okay, so uh, for this one and a half year, were you working or you were just sitting and studying for the super specialty exam? No, sir, I was not working. I was completely uh, studying. Okay, so today only we had interview for rank four and five. So somebody believed that yes, working will help them, but someone will feel that maybe studying and totally dedicating the time would be helpful. So I believe it's a personalized choice. But whether this exposure, because in PGI Chandigarh, you were you would have a great exposure in endocrinology. So do you believe that those who don't have endocrinology exposure, they slightly lag in this exam or this like exposure to endocrinology department actually help you in getting this rank one? Uh, sir, uh, definitely you're right. Uh, the exposure to endocrinology is uh, absolutely very good in PGI. But the thing was at our time, it was COVID. So okay. like, uh, so endocrinology is already like a light branch and because of COVID, uh, many endocrine patients were not coming. So, so I, we have like seen like very few endocrinology patients, but most of them were like very good cases, sir. like the cases that we read in books. So that definitely helps sir. At that time, I had not read any theory about endocrinology, but like when I was reading theory to prepare for the exam, I was able to correlate with the cases that I had managed in the wards okay. so so like when you went into this department uh, did you feel that okay this is the branch where i should uh, do my future uh, uh, practice or whether it was right at the beginning you liked endocrinology what made you take this endocrinology as super specialty uh, so like uh, we had one month posting of endocrinology so, uh, so that was like sir, one posting where I felt happiest during the three years of my MD, sir, because other uh, specialties were extremely hectic. Uh, and like since after that, uh, I was also confused between rheumatology and endocrinology, sir. So initially, I was, uh, I was more inclined towards rheumatology and, and even prepared for that and gave the uh, INISS uh, attempt also in rheumatology. And after like complete, I completed MD, I thought that endocrinology would also be a good choice. And I bought William, started reading it. Then, sir, I love this subject so much, sir. I thought this is the subject for me. It has like so many components, some component of pediatrics, some component of uh, gynecology and uh, some component of oncology. Like we have many tumors of tumors of different, different endocrine organs. It's like a complete package. So. That reminded me of the undergraduate days where we used to read uh, so many subjects. Then obviously lab and biochemistry part. So, so that I really liked uh, the, uh, overall the whole all aspects of uh, this subject, sir. 
Yeah, so I, I believe most of the super specialist aspirant are actually aspiring for endocrinology as we have seen in past few years. It's the topmost branch, almost one in two person is actually taking endocrinology. And most of, I believe, those toppers also because we get calls from all over India. Most of them either want endocrinology followed by rheumatology or hematology. I believe these three branches are taking the top notch in super specialty exam, at least at present. Yes, sir. Yes. So, uh, so you started your preparation like post uh, MD, or you started during your MD time? Uh, so during MD, I did not get much time to read. I was reading only uh, the Harrison for medicine uh, for the prof exams. Then after MD, uh, so this NEET exam was coming in 2022 in September. So at that time also, I was preparing for NEET only. Uh, then so after that. From October 2022 onwards, I started properly reading for uh, for endocrinology from Williams textbook, like from the first chapter onwards, line by line, properly all chapters. Sir. Okay, so so did you read cover to cover the Williams and the Harrison? Yes, sir. Not Harrison, sir. Harrison endocrinology part I've read uh, cover to cover, but not other specialty subjects. Okay, so you were more focused on uh, basically INI rather than the neat super specialty. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, okay. And uh, what what about like uh, what do you feel that would be an optimal time duration for preparation? Anybody who has not yet started. So somebody who has not yet started. Uh, so the optimal time duration can be like. Uh, six, six to eight months, or you can say maybe eight months to one year, because sir, like first time when we are reading the Williams textbook, it will take a lot of time, sir. But somebody who has already read the whole book at least once, then it is just revision and uh, practice. Then it should not take a lot of time if you are like completely dedicated uh, towards preparation. And as you have secured rank one, everybody wants to be the topper. So what was your schedule? Like time management is really tough because getting everything, all the things, uh, reading it from cover to cover and recalling it and more importantly, revising it is really, really tough for anyone. Yes, sir. I'll share that experience also. Uh, so like uh, when I started reading endocrinology from the Williams textbook, sir, like I told, it's a very difficult book to read for the person who is reading for the first time. So it took me approximately four to five months, sir, to completely read and absorb the important concepts and important facts. So uh, in my first attempt of November 2022, that was my first attempt of endo INI exam. I could not qualify that, sir. Uh, like and it was a difficult exam also. Then, sir, once I finished one complete reading of Williams, I attempted it again in April 2023. In that, I got AIMS merit list rank of six, sir. So, but at that time, I had not revised everything like properly. Like you said, sir, it becomes difficult to revise. Reading is different. Revising is different. So yes. then, sir, uh, I thought that uh, I'll next time I'll revise properly and uh, attempt better. So, so after that, I've been only and only revising important topics from Williams and practicing as many MCQs as possible, sir. And uh, with this much of preparation for five, four, five months, uh, I got AIMS Meritus rank of third in the previous attempt. That is November 2023 exam, sir. But uh, there were no seats in uh, PJ as well as AIMS Delhi. So I thought that now I will uh, try again with best I can. So, so, so that's a really tough call, I would say. It was, uh, it was really tough, sir, like leaving the seats yes. multiple times. Okay. So, so what was your basic strategy, whether it was like first Harrison followed by Williams or followed by Marrow videos or reverse? What was the order in which you read all those things? Okay, sir. So like I have subscribed Marrow very recently, sir, uh, in February this year only. And before that, uh, I was taking only the free tests of uh, Marrow, sir. Uh, but sir, I have watched many of your recall videos also. So I was very impressed with those videos. So that's why I subscribed this year. And uh, like preparation, sir, initially I was watching like uh, videos from some other source also, sir. That was during my first reading of Williams. And uh, after that, uh, I just read and practiced MCQs. 
and this time i thought that uh, i should watch maro videos also that maybe i'll get some extra points to note and all and I, in fact i saw your videos are very very conceptual so uh, they're very useful for preparation okay so basically uh, because i believe you had multiple uh, options and uh, multiple times you have read it so it's not very like uh, the uh, whatever we are suggesting it could not be applied to everyone that what they should be doing but what is my personal opinion i believe that watching a video makes it easier to read otherwise it's really difficult to understand if you have not seen any patient if you have not worked actually in endocrinology then it would be like really tough especially the genetic parts reading that genetic part from williams is like really tiring and it's very difficult to remember yes sir. so the videos also reinforce uh, those concepts which you have already so what i believe is like active learning is very important sir like obviously the video watching videos is important if you are uh, reading for the first time but yes. like completely depending on that is also not a very good idea yes. so the more actively we read and learn and revise we remember uh, more okay okay and as you have all the options with rank 1 where are actually uh, you are planning to join sir uh, i am uh, so it's like aims of okay. chandigarh because you are already in germany or pgi chandigarh whether you'll opt for it or you're going for aims delhi uh so that is a very difficult decision to take i i'm taking opinion from seniors of both institutes to so so you are still in dilemma yes sir okay okay and one more thing like uh, every time we get a call for also the last minute revision because that time every every uh, person is stress so much stress because it's a very uh, crunch in time right so everybody is stressed and is unable to perform so how how did you cope it and what was your schedule in that and how did you revise all those things it would be really great for everyone if you share with us yes sir uh sir so like my plan for the last minute revision was that like i had to revise both medicine as well as endocrinology uh so sir so like i uh, initially uh, sir so like in the month of february and march i was taking all the marrow uh, tests like they were like tests daily there used to be a test of different different subjects of medicine so i took those tests so that uh, my uh, medicine part remains fresh then sir so from march march april uh, yes march uh, april i uh, read only endocrinology sir like i used to watch your videos subject uh, topic wise uh, then after that i would read uh, i would revise the same chapter from uh, williams like in a very fast speed like i already marked important points in that so it wouldn't take a lot of time so like that so i've used your videos basically for revision purpose and obviously there were some extra points also that they were very useful then sir uh, like 15 in the last 15 days before exam since i had already read williams uh, like one or two times so i just uh, went through the, all the important topics like in a very fast speed so that if some lines are ex- exactly picked up from that so they don't go wrong and so that actually happened in the exam lines were directly picked up from williams uh, to make mcq so i think that that thing helped and uh, apart from that i did the question bank of maro uh, in the last uh, one month before exam the all the question banks of endocrinology and they were very helpful to clear my concepts and apart from that i was taking uh, the tests also regularly sir the grand test and all and uh, so surprising there there was one question which came exactly same from the maro grand test in the actual exam also so so the whole thing the whole uh, maro um package was very useful sir for my preparation yeah. yeah we we have tried to incorporate more of the conceptual question also we have framed it in a way so that it looks like you are actually seeing a patient and probably that helps to recall in that short span that is what i believe yes yes so like most of them although there are like 14 15 questions in each question bank but all of them are very high yielding most of them are concept based and these are the questions which are going to be asked in the final exam sir and any extra preparation for your interview because that's really scary for most of the people sir uh, 
I have not done any extra preparations. I had already appeared for the same interview two times yes. before also. So I had some experience, uh, like what all kind of questions they'll be asking. So I just like revised uh, the important approach-based questions uh, four or five days before the date of interview from the Harrison and Williams only. And uh, so like uh, for diff they also have difficult questions in interview, but for the difficult questions, you can't do much. You just have to rely upon your memory that you've gathered over the whole of your preparation. You're solving difficult MCQs and all. We are like reading concepts from Williams. So they will help in the interview. So interview in interview, so there will be easy questions and difficult questions and some lab based questions also. Yeah, this time most of the aspirants actually got question from the lab part. That is what we have gathered. And obviously, once you answer the easy question, they are going to ask tough questions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so uh, before we end, uh, one more thing I would like to know is your feedback, both the positive and the negative, especially the negative one, so that it helps us to improve the marrow platform. Okay, sir. Uh, so the uh, positive thing about uh, Marrow is that uh, it's like it's a very uh, nicely structured platform for, for preparation, uh, especially the, your videos, Nalini Ma'am's videos, and some new videos also coming up. Sir. Most of them are like uh, they have combined concepts from both Harrison and uh, Williams. So I suggest the aspirants to watch them, to clear your concepts, and uh, read the book. Secondly, uh, sir. Uh, the question bank is good, uh, but I think there can be more number of questions added to it, uh, like okay. Williams based or concept based. If the questions which are already there, they are good only, uh, but you can increase the number. Yeah. yeah. And uh, third thing is uh, uh, what we can do is uh, we can uh, have some new uh, GTs. GTs in the sense like usually uh, we take GTs uh, one month before the exam. But in between those four, four or five months, now students get uh, students lose track of the preparation. But if there are some live test, like INISS pattern based live test every month, like one test every month or two tests every month, then students will uh, can track their performance, like uh, how they are performing and they can improve. So that can be done. Sir. Okay, point point very well taken and will definitely work on your suggestions. And I believe the more you do, the more you practice, the better you would be. So obviously volume also matters along with the quality, quantity and quality both matters. I agree on that. And just the final words, what is your message for the future endocrinologists, for the future aspirants? Uh, so my final message is that uh, this branch is very difficult to get. So don't lose hope when you're preparing for it. You may have to take the exam multiple times. Secondly, uh, uh, from uh, for INI, most of the questions will be asked from the Williams textbook. Like this time, line to line questions were asked. So please read that book thoroughly. You can take help of videos, as Sir said. Like Sir's videos are quite uh, useful in that uh, aspect and solve as many mcqs as possible like 30 to 40 mcqs at least daily and give grant test so that you can track your performance so thank you dr sara for joining us giving you a valuable time and for that insights which will help many of the future aspirants to crack super specialty exam thank you thank you, thank you sir.